Welcome to the Fun Accountant. We continue our series of Sage Accounting Tutorials. The next step after you have signed up for Sage is to set up your company settings. Here we are at the login screen to your Sage Accounting. We're going to log in. You type in your email address. Something to note and to remember as you can only have one email address per user if you would like to get access to another company you'll have to use the same email address if you type in the incorrect password there is no limit trying to enter the correct password it's unlimited so you won't be locked after three failed attempts entering your passwords we click on login once you've logged in, and bearing in mind that this is our first login to this company, starting from scratch with Sage, we take you guys right through the whole process of doing a full set of books for a business from scratch. And the first screen you will be met with, it's divided into three parts. So at this stage, it's important to note that you have your company details available. It is referred to as a company, but it could may as well just be that you are trading as a sole proprietor or you are trading as a trust or a partnership. Sage is for any type of business. Second part that the setup will take you through is the branding aspect of your accounting package bearing in mind that you will have an integrated system from where you will do business processes which entails everything from doing quotes invoicing supplier transactions banking and generating reports for that reason branding is important and then the third part of your company setup would be your financial details and this will be things like your year end uh, companies can have different year ends than the tax year it would be your registration numbers for example your company registration number your vat registration number your company address do not be afraid at this stage that if you miss a step with your setup that it is all lost you can always come back to your company settings and amend or add company settings don't be afraid that you don't have all the information with you there's always an opportunity to add it again later so what i will be doing is i will click on next this is where i will enter my company details the company name postal address physical address the physical address is important if you receive deliveries and you're doing purchase orders you're going to receive stock and you need your supplier to deliver it to an address the physical address that you enter here is important because this address will be on your documentation banking details will appear on your invoices and quotes and this is purely to assist you to enable your customers to have your banking details easily submit payment to you which will help your cash flow i have now completed the company details i will be moving on to the next screen which is my branding screen and the branding is basic branding options add things like your logo and the layouts of your invoices also something that you can change at a later date and here you can add your logo you can decide where your logo will be placed on your invoice at the top left all right we're going to select the top right your layout option you have three options classic modern or plain 
we're going to select the modern option before i click next you can also create custom layout for your quotes and invoices where you would like to add terms of conditions to a quote which is additional information over and above your current quote or invoice and you can also amend or change your layout design maybe this none of the three is what you would like with your customer layout designer which comes automatically when you sign up to sage and it's very helpful in future videos we will be sharing more about the accounting custom layout designer that will assist you a great deal with changing your invoice design there's another aspect in your branding where you can enable the customer zone this will enable your customers to see their invoices online just bear in mind it is only available in certain countries your client will also be able to view their statements your clients would be able to see the invoices that's been issued and payments that they have made and says give us an example of how the email that your clients receive will look like they will receive an email giving them a link they click on the link it will take them to the physical invoice the benefits of this like site says here you will know when your customers have viewed your invoices or quotes your customers will find it easy to print and pay their invoices they can send you a message directly from an invoice and a quote your customers can easily check their account history and print their own statements and your customers will have a professional experience of your company and this is what sage is doing this is the great benefit of sage it gives you the functionalities of things that was in the past only reserved for big companies a sole proprietor or a sole premier can now look very professional like if they are running a big business i'm going to enable a customer zone and i'm also going to enable all history because i would like my customers to view their invoices quotes statements online and also to maybe do online payments i'm going to click next which will take us to the financial details and this is where the financial details are completed we have the VAT settings do you charge your customers VAT you have to select yes or no you have to input your VAT number your invoice settings how many decimals you want to display on your invoice for example you might have quantities which have decimals with inventory for example this is where you can select your year end we also have to complete the compulsory uh, personal information and it's required for legislative purposes the last step is i would click on finish a message that asks would you like to log into the company here we are our company is set up and we're ready to rock and roll